Now an update on a story we first brought you two years ago. A local family suing Mercy Hospital Southwest and two of its doctors for negligence over the death of a young mother and her infant son during childbirth. As 17's Ileana Capellan reports, one of those doctors is facing accusations from the Attorney General with the Medical Board of California. Ileana. June 10, 2019 was a date the Dominguez and De Leon family eagerly anticipated for months. Demi was turning 24, and what better way to celebrate than by giving birth to her little boy Malachi? Except she had preeclampsia, which went undetected, causing her death. It's important to note both doctors mentioned in this story were contacted, and they refused to comment. I remember just seeing her, like, shaking viciously and, and trying to breathe really and um, and I just remember her jaw was just locked and she started turning blue and I remember telling Tracy like she's turning blue like and being on the phone and and telling her like come on you like wake up wake up like get out of it in the early hours of April 19th Xavier de Leon woke up to his pregnant fiance Demi Dominguez seizing in bed and um, you know, she took one breath and kind of was like relaxed and I was like, okay, she's done. Like, it, you know, she's going to kind of come back. But she didn't come back. In my heart, I knew she wasn't there, you know. Um, and in my heart, since I knew like she wasn't there, my, my next concern was getting that baby out, you know, because obviously if there's no oxygen going to that baby, then he doesn't have a chance. Later, Malachi was delivered by C-section. De Leon held both his fiance and his son in his arms as they took their last breaths hours apart. As soon as the family received Demi's medical files, they began to question the health care, or lack thereof, that she received by Dr. Arthur M. Park, Dr. Hans Yu, and Mercy Hospital Southwest. When Demi was seen by Dr. Park at the hospital, Demi's mom, Tracy Dominguez, says he shamed her. Park was on call that day. He said, well, what did you eat today? And she said, I had um, some Mexican food. And he told her, well, that's your problem. You are swollen because you ate Mexican food. And if you eat pizza, you would have got even bigger. So at that point, she was embarrassed, and we both were horrified. Park referred Demi to Dr. Yu for follow-up care after discharging her the next morning. The family says Dr. Yu seemed to rush through her appointment and ignored her symptoms of blurred vision and difficulty breathing. The family is filing a lawsuit accusing the hospital, Dr. Park, and Dr. Yu of negligence in not spotting the preeclampsia, ultimately leading to her and Malachi's death. But the family says the medical board tried to get them to file the case together with Demi's, saying Malachi was not his own person. He was a beautiful baby boy. A fetus. They call him like if he's nothing, and he's a boy, and his name is Malachi, and he needs to be recognized because his life mattered. It mattered very much. On Wednesday, Attorney General Javier Bacera, along with the Medical Board of California, filed an accusation against Dr. Park, accusing him of negligence in their deaths. This is not the first time he's been in trouble. Dr. Park is currently on probation with the Medical Board and has been on probation before. How many mothers and babies have to die before the Medical Board will pull somebody's license? How many families have to suffer loss because of medical negligence? The family says they're going to continue fighting for change in honor of Demi and Malachi, and they have this final message. To Dr. Park, how can you live with yourself knowing that you're doing the same thing over and over and harming babies and mothers and just not giving a um, to the community? We need to stand together and stop this because it's not right. The family's fight continues next Friday. They will be sitting in on the Sunset Review Oversight Hearing for the Medical Board. The legislature will be reviewing the board to decide if they are doing their job. In a statement, Tracy Dominguez said, quote, I have seen my daughter and grandson victimized by the regulatory board system. I cannot stand by and not try to make change to help other families. That is why I will be speaking to the legislature for the Sunset Review hearing for the Medical Board of California next Friday. I will make sure that the families of Kern County's voice will be heard.
The hearing is open to the public and the family plans to bring up changing the Medical Injury Compensation Act of 1975. In studio, Ileana Capian, 17 News.